distinguished ambassadors, it's my pleasure and my honor to meet the ambassadors of G7 member states and the government of Ukraine truly commend and appreciate the support of your countries, of your member states in our fight for territorial integrity and independence of Ukraine. If I may, I would start not just with the Minsk deal, but with the gas deal. So this is another extremely important issue, which is on the table, an energy security issue. Uh, we succeeded last year together with G7 member states in uh, hammering out a trilateral deal on the level of Ukraine, the EU and Russian Federation over the gas supply both to Ukraine and gas transit to the European Union and uh, we kindly request you uh, to support us in uh, applying the same pattern that was made last year in order to secure the gas transit to the European Union and to supply the gas to Ukraine on the basis of a comprehensive deal between the EU, Ukraine and Russian Federation which is to comprise both protocol and uh, an annex to the current deal. I truly appreciate if we together will succeed in uh, having the similar deal as we did last year. Uh, on the means deal, I believe that we will further discuss the situation which is on the ground. It's extremely complicated and we urge Russia to implement and entirely execute the Minsk deal. Ukrainian government uh, is doing everything we can, uh, both to implement and execute the deal, and we truly appreciate your support and your strong stance on this particular issue.